to Preschool Storytime with Miss Christy. I'm here at the Free Library of Northampton Township and we're ready to get started with our next story time. So let's get our beat going and we'll sing our hello song. Hello everyone and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everyone and how are you? How are you today? Hello Anthony, how are you? Michael too, how are you? Hello Matthew, how are you? How are you today? Hello Sarah, how are you? Susan too, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you today? All right, today we're gonna start and talk about gardens. It's a great time to start planning your gardens. So we have some stories to talk about that. One thing we can grow in our gardens are carrots, and this is a story called The Enormous Carrot by Vladimir Vagan. Let's see what happens here. The Enormous Carrot. Early one spring, Daisy and Floyd planted seeds in their garden. Each day, they watered and weeded. Everything grew exactly as they had planned. Then one morning, Daisy and Floyd discovered an enormous carrot growing in the middle of their garden. This carrot is ready to pick, said Floyd. So Floyd tried to pull the carrot out of the ground, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. I'll pull it out, said Daisy. So Daisy tried to pull the carrot out of the ground, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Then Daisy and Floyd tried together to pull the carrot out of the ground. They tugged and they lugged, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Just then, their friend Mabel came by. Will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Daisy. Naturally, said Mabel. So Daisy, Floyd, and Mabel tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They heaved and they hoed, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Well, just then their friend Henry came by. Will you help us pull this carrot out? asked Mabel. Glad to, said Henry. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, and Henry tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They grunted and they groaned but the carrot stayed put, it wouldn't come out. Just then their friend Gloria came by. Will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Henry. Absolutely, said Gloria. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, and Gloria tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They teamed and they towed, but the carrot stayed put, it wouldn't come out. Just then their friend Buster came by. Will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Gloria. Sure thing, said Buster. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, Gloria, and Buster tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They stretched and they swayed, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Just then their friend Claire came by. Claire the cat, will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Buster. I'd be delighted, said Claire. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, Gloria, Buster, and Claire tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They hollered and they hauled, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Just then, their friend Lester came by. May I help you pull that carrot out, asked Lester. Oh, you're much too small, said Claire. Let me try, said Lester. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, Gloria, Buster, Claire, and Lester tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They tugged and they hugged, they heaved and they hoed, they grunted and they groaned, they teamed and they towed, they stretched and they swayed, they hollered and they hauled, and all at once, 
the enormous carrot came out. Then Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, Gloria, Buster, Claire, Lester, and all of their friends ate every bit of that enormous carrot until it was all gone. The end. So that's called using teamwork to get the carrots out of the garden. All right, so now we're gonna do a song from the songs from Wiggle Worms. I think you might know this one called the Hokey Pokey. So if you could stand up with me, we're gonna to dance together. Ready? Right hand in, your right hand out. You put your right hand in and you shake it all about. You do the Hokey Pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left hand in, your left hand out, your left hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right foot in, your right foot out. You put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, your left foot out. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your belly, belly button, button in, your belly button out. You belly button in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your head in, your head Pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You ready? You put your whole self in. You put your whole self out. You put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You shake it all about. You shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. the hokey pokey. Come back and have a seat with me. We're going to read another story called Bloom Boom. This one has all beautiful pictures. It's by April Pulley Sari and it has all beautiful photographs of flowers in bloom. Every spring across the land, seeds sprout Stems pop out. Bloom, boom. They start as little seeds and they grow into beautiful flowers. The leaves emerge, the stalks surge. Bloom, boom. The plants rise, shapes surprise. Bloom, boom. Bulbs send and tips extend. Bloom, boom. Beautiful tulips. Buds grow and blossoms show. Bloom, boom. Beautiful tree. Petals curve, insects swerve. Bloom, boom. Colors call, fragrance flies. Welcome birds and butterflies. Sun rays warm, flowers form, bloom, boom. The end. And then this tells you all the different flowers that we saw in the story. Bloom, boom. 
All right, we're gonna do a little flannel song here. I have my fish on the board. White fish, green fish, orange fish, and black fish. We'll start off with our white fish. One little white fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little white fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. One, two, two little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little green fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. One, two, three. Three little orange fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little orange fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. One, two, three, four. Four little black fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little black fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. All right, our last story is called A Peaceful Garden. This is written by Lucy London. Two little kitty cats in their peaceful garden. To grow a peaceful garden, wait for the last frost. Just kiss the cold goodbye. Dig yourself a patch. Soft soil is best. No clumps. And check out the sun to make sure it's still there. Your garden will need it. Do you have a garden hat? How about a rake and a bucket for all the things you'll grow? A peaceful garden is for growing many things you might want to eat. So it's time to choose some seeds. Do you like carrots? Big tops are nice. Easy peasy peas, they'll need a wee pea fence. Lettuces are always lovely, don't you think? And bees love daisies. A peaceful garden is also for growing many things that others want to eat. So do butterflies. Would you like to invite some blackbirds? Then plant an invitation, sunflowers. You can dig some small holes now and ploop, 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 go the seeds. Very nice, little paws can tuck them in. Don't forget what is where, small signs are good. Carrots, onions, radish, peas. Now what? Water, gentle showers are best. You can give yourself one if you like. Water, 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 every day, except the rainy ones. Water is important for growing things. You could also fill up a little saucer just for the bees. A few rocks will help them to not fall in. And a bath for the birds. This will make your garden even more peaceful, especially in the morning. What a pretty patch you've made. You've given your peaceful garden everything it needs to grow. And now you and the bees and the birds and the rabbits can all wait together for your feast. The end. That's a peaceful garden. All right. We're gonna end with our goodbye song. Thank you for joining me for another story time here at the Free Library of Northampton Township. But let's get our alligators ready like this. Here we go. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. I'll see you soon, big baboon. There's the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear.
with the bar. 